This is a short video to show you how I um, use my AMMPS and um, how reliably it will uh, will work. Now it's taken quite a bit of trial and error to um, get it all working uh, reliably, but um, what I do is when you've used it in the uh, in the past, make sure that um, it has been cleaned using the using a wire brush. I've previously cleaned this so it is fairly uh, um, fairly clean and all of the holes are, um, are clear. Then get yourself, get your pellets and liberally fill the pellet smoker. You're going to have more than you need here, but once you've done that, get a uh, kitchen colander and then pop the pellets in the colander because what we're trying to do is to get rid of as much of the loose dust as possible. So I'm going to move this onto the grass otherwise my wife will kill me and we're going to shake and we're going to get rid of as much of the loose dust. So all we have in the bowl now are pellets. I'm now going to put these pellets into a bowl which will go into the microwave and we'll now head towards the microwave. Okay, back in the kitchen, um, into the microwave, open the microwave, pop the pellets in and we'll just set that for five, five and a half minutes and after two and a half minutes we will open the microwave and give the pellets a, uh, a quick stir. After about two and a half minutes, we open the microwave and pull out the pellets. You might notice a little bit of steam coming off, but it's important now to stir the pellets so that the pellets on top don't become wet from the moisture underneath and cause the pellets to start to break apart. So, Pellets are now nicely stirred, they go back into the microwave for the remainder of the time. Right, we're now coming up to the uh, five and a half minutes and once it has dinged, we pull the pellets out of the microwave and at this point, they're actually too hot to handle. Give them another stir, and you'll see, I don't know if you can see in here, but the steam coming off of them is quite intense. What we'll now do is take these down to the garden and pop them in the smoker. Right, we're now going to take the hot pellets and pour them on top of the smoker, of the AMMPS. Spread them across, and again, they're very hot. And at this point, massage them down, and so you get as many of the pellets compacted as you can. Now, you mustn't crush them. These are supposed to um, just produce um, a compact pellets within the smoke generator and you'll see that by moving your finger across the ridges we can then expose the individual tracks. The important thing here is to make sure that there are no pellets that actually span both tracks otherwise you will get a burn over from one track to the other. If there are any low spots then get some additional pellets and pop them on. We'll now take the smoke generator out of the um, tray, go to the blowtorch 
switch it on. I will put a few more pellets just in there to get it started. Again, make sure there's none crossing over. And then using the blowtorch, to set fire to the pellets from one end. One thing you'll notice is the AMMPS will get red hot. This is actually fine. And we've now been about uh, 10 or 15 seconds. The pellets are alight. And I'll take the gas off. Now you'll see that the AMMPS is now nicely alight. And if you see any of the pellets on the, um, on the other track that have caught fire, then just move them out of the way or, or take them out of the smoker. We'll now move across to the smoker itself. Here's the uh, smoker I, I usually use. And in the firebox, we have a mesh tray. What I'm going to do is turn the smoke generator around, and so the actual um, smoke troughs are perpendicular to the airflow as it goes through the smoker. This way, as the pellets burn, they will continually warm the pellets that are in front of them. Now, that's well and truly a light, so I'm going to blow it out. <sighs> and immediately you see the smoke that's being generated. If I pop that in the smoker, close the lid. At the moment, I have nothing in the smoker, but you can see the amount of smoke that's being generated just from those pellets. I'll now lock the smoker down, and within a few minutes, we should start to see smoke coming out of the It has been fluid. about a minute and a half since we put the smoke generator into the smoker and you'll see already the smoker is full and we're getting smoke coming out of the flue. The time now is 8pm and the smoke generator has just been lit uh, what we will do is come back um, in the morning at around about seven o'clock and we will have a look to see how far the uh, AMMPS has burnt down. And here we are, it's now seven o'clock the following morning. It's been a fairly chilly night, it must have got down to about four or five degrees last night. Uh, there's a bit of breeze, so But you can see that there's still plenty of smoke being created. <clears throat> so let's see how the pellets are done. As you can see, after 11 hours of um, producing smoke, we still have plenty of pellets left. Um, this would probably go for another uh, three or four hours. We'll um, without uh, any problems at all. So, there we have it. This is uh, the way that I've found um, to make my AM AMNPS work most effectively and reliably burn pellets um, for 12 to 14 hours, which will give me a good long overnight smoke, change the pellets, and then give me a full day smoke as well.